Hey there, Touchboards Nation, Dr. Document Camera here, and this is the demo video of the Hovercam Solo 8 Plus. Now, anyone familiar with the Hovercam Solo 8 is going to recognize this immediately. Looks just like it, just says Solo 8 Plus down below. There are some differences though, one being higher megapixels. This is a 13 megapixel versus the 8 megapixel camera. This can actually get 4K resolutions. And we have uh, I'll switch back here that's going to allow you to use this with the Hovercam Clipper. At the time of this filming, not available yet, but it will be hopefully by the end of 2017. And uh, we'll get into that later. So don't worry about it right now. Uh, but this is the Solo 8 Plus. Uh, and you will see I do have it connected to a computer here. It uses this one USB cable. And in the back of the Solo 8 Plus, there are actually two USB ports. One is labeled install. That's the one that the camera is not plugged into right now. And that actually lets you access the Hovercam Flex 10 software. So you can plug it into that port, install the software right on your computer, so you don't need to be online, you don't need to download. It installs it right from here. And then you switch it over to the port that it's plugged into. That lets you actually use the camera. So when we open it up and we have our software running, you can see live video right here. And as you can see, it is really good video. This is real time. I'm moving my fingers. You're seeing them here and there at the same time. Now, we've got a couple pretty cool features that you should know about. On the camera itself, there's a few buttons. You've got a button to flip the image around, like so. You've got zoom, zoom in and out. Now you can do that from your computer screen too, but this lets you do it right from the camera. Lastly, you've got autofocus and autofocus lock. So this camera has an autofocus as you put something, for example, here's a random remote control, it has nothing to do with this camera, it's a projector remote, but it's colorful, so there it is. We put that under there, the camera will most likely autofocus on it when you move your hand on something, it might get blurry for a second as it focuses. Sometimes you don't want that, especially if you've got a piece of paper that you're trying to write on. So you use the autofocus lock button. So at any point you can hit AF and it'll refocus for you. But when you don't want to do that all the time, you just hit AF-L, which is the autofocus lock, and it won't autofocus for you. So as you move things in and out of the frame, as you put your hand in there at different heights compared to something else you're looking at, like so, it's not gonna to try to focus for you. So that's a very useful feature in a classroom. And you will find that as you look at something and put your hand in there or swap different size objects out, you don't always want it blurring and refocusing. So that's gonna be very helpful for you. So again, this is the Solo 8 Plus. You can adjust the head up. We can turn the camera head down, move it to the sides, and you've got a light here. Two levels of brightness. Turn them on as needed. As you can see, it's kind of dark in here and we still got pretty good image on the camera. So it does pick up light pretty well. But every once in a while you have something that you need that extra little bit of light on and you'll see it right there. Of course, if your surface is shiny, you may get some glare from those lights. It's going to depend on what you have under the camera. All right, so I just wanted to show you the Hovercam Flex 10 software real quick. And this is what it looks like on your computer screen. So you have your live image from the camera. As you can see, I've got our USB cable, projector remote, mic wire. I got the base of the camera itself here, uh, but it is live. And in the software, you only have this one toolbar across the bottom. It's real, real easy to use. And basically, I'm gonna start from over here. You've got a slingshot button that lets you export the image out to other programs, maybe your interactive whiteboard software. There's a snapshot button, which is going to let you take a still image and it's going to save it in here. It shows you a little preview down below there. But off to the side, we have split screen. Split screen is really cool because you can have your frozen image in, on half the screen and your live image on the other half of the screen. As you can see, there's the live image. So you can actually compare two things at once. Uh, so that, that's a pretty useful feature. 
Over here is your record button. So the camera has a microphone built in. You can record your audio and video. Multiple scans, so if you're actually scanning papers, that helps a lot. You've got a freeze button here, and when that's uh, turned on, even though I move my hand under the camera, it doesn't show up on screen. Uh, so if you wanted to move things around without everybody seeing it, you freeze it. Uh, you got your zoom here, you know, we can zoom in and out. Uh, again, I mentioned you can do that from the camera itself. You can do it from, from the screen here. And then you've got your autofocus and then your control for your brightness, saturation, contrast, white balance. You can crop there. You've got resolution settings and everything under control. And then just uh, your final camera settings there. So it's a pretty easy program to learn. It's really just that one toolbar. Shouldn't take you more than a couple minutes to get it all figured out and up and running. So there you have it, folks, the Hovercam Solo 8 Plus. Big improvement over the Solo 8. We didn't actually think they could do it, but they did. Same price. It's a great value. If you've got any questions, call up the doctor at 866-942-6273.